This Thursday, April 28th, NomCon CTF is back for 2022. Now, I'm super excited about this, and hey, honestly, this whole video is going to be just a promotion for NomCon CTF 2022. If you haven't registered, you can find the link in the description, and it'll be displayed here on this video. It's online, accessible right now. You can register and jump in at HTTPS CTF dot nomcon dot com now if you don't know i've hosted the nomcon ctf for the past i guess three years now this will be our third run and i guess all the years that nomcon has been running nomcon is a virtual security conference hosted by nomsec Ben Sedegabor, and a couple other fantastic ragtag group of hackers. Stoke is in the mix. I think previously we had the Cyber Mentor. Uh, I have always been the individual on deck for hosting the Capture the Flag. Now, I cannot do that on my own. I have an incredible team of other hackers and friends and folks that are willing to pour and create and carve out challenges. However, you'll see a whole lot of my challenges in the mix just as well. I am so excited for this game because we are introducing a couple new things. We have new categories. We have hardware, and we've never had hardware before. I'm super excited about that. We have uh, some new networking challenges that we've never done in the past, and we're actually trying to squeeze in some super duper cool DevOps, like CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, stuff. And I'm super excited. It's going to be a ton of fun. And the prizes for this game, for NomCon 2022, are insane. I think in the year before, like Ben and I were, Namsek and I were just laughing. Like we look back on it, it's like, oh, sheesh. We had like $500 for the first place team. No, this time around, we're going big. We have $2,000 for the first place team and tons of other great prizes for even like special categories. Like, hey, if you happen to find a super unique uh, kind of unintentional solution, we can give you some funds for that. If you happen to find uh, a first blood, if you happen to be the first team to solve a challenge, it's some that we can decide, hey, that's uh, our discretion, right, as a challenge and CTF organizers, what was worthy of being an awesome, incredible first blood and a fantastic, unintentional solve. Uh, but we're super excited about that. We're just excited to have the flexibility to be able to reward individuals that go above and beyond. Uh, of course, it is a team-based game. We are going to have dynamic scoring. Uh, we do not have a team limit or cap on the number of team number of team members part of a team, primarily because that's it's literally impossible to enforce uh, on a public worldwide online CTF. There is no way that I could hold people accountable for oh, cheating or having more team members on a team because sure, they could just sign into some same account or they could just ch change IP addresses. It, it, it can't be done. We'll still be detecting cheating the same way they had previously for looking at flag submissions, right? Uh, so we will be keeping an eye on any misbehavior. But with that said, there are of course the rules for this game. You can find them on the webpage and and most importantly, if you need technical support, go jump in the Discord server. We are using the NomSec Discord server to be able to moderate and facilitate and send memes and GIFs and lots of emojis. So <laughs> if anyone has played our CTF before, you know, like we kind of go crazy and it's a ton of fun. Uh, it's hilarious and hysterical being in the Discord server. So please, please, please come hang out. Whether you need technical support or not, we just like to have a great time because we're having fun hosting the whole thing. And I hope you have fun playing the whole thing. With that said, we are, of course, on CTF time, so you can gain a ton of points. I think we have a pretty decent weight for all the recent competitions that we've put out over the past few years. And, of course, we will be giving out certificates. The brand, shiny, spanking, super cool stuff you can share on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. You can print it out and put it on your fridge. You can mint it on the blockchain as an NFT. You can do whatever you want. We want to give that to you to celebrate your success and you all having fun. So I'm very excited to see everyone blast that out on social media that is like the most fulfilling thing uh as as an organizer and as a host like that is that is just surreal to be able to see everyone kind of hey screaming and shouting like look at what i got to participate in and i love that it warms my heart now, bear in mind, the CTF is separate from the Virtual Security Conference. Ben Sedegapur, Namsek, and Stoke, and others are organizing an incredible Virtual Security Conference. There are a ton of fantastic talks from phenomenal, incredible people in the information security, cybersecurity community, whether it be bug bounty, or penetration testing, or ethical hacking, or security, and the blockchain, or APIs and cloud, and just so much, so much cool stuff. If you're interested in the conference portion, it is on Saturday, April 
30th. It'll run throughout that day. And we have aligned it so the CTF, I realized starting on Thursday, 12 p.m. Pacific time, standard time, uh, it will run for 48 hours and two days into the beginning and end throughout the conference so that we can announce the winners and all. So hey, I know I've been rambling for a bit of time here, but please come play NomCon CTF 2022. This is something that myself and all my teammates kind of pour a lot of passion into. Uh, and if anyone in listening in has hosted a Capture the Flag, you know just the sheer amount of work and effort that goes into this thing. Uh, challenge development is one thing. Hosting is another thing. Infrastructure is another. Planning and coordinating with sponsors and being able to do different things to actually host the game. It, it's an animal, it is a beast, and it is something that we have poured a significant amount of time into. So it would warm my heart if you registered, if you cracked open a challenge, if you took a look, if you played for a little bit, and if you start having fun, if you're cruising on the scoreboard, more power to you, that's the whole point. The whole point is for you to have fun and hopefully learn something new. We have a ton of challenges. We have over 60 challenges across a ton of different categories. And I've said it before, and I don't know if folks, I don't know happen to remember this, but like, I feel like I take the onus and responsibility when we host a capture the flag like this. If you or if a team or if a player 100%s the game board, like if they solve every single challenge and there's nothing left for them to do while the game is still running, I have failed as an educator, like as a trainer, as someone that is assorting and cultivating all of this all these tasks and all these assignments and all these challenges for you to learn and stretch yourself with. Uh, so I hope there is a ton of incredible and cool and great stuff for you to play with, for you to learn something new and for you to explore and enjoy whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate player, whether you're a veteran, whether you're a guru, there's something for everybody and please come play. Please come check it out. It would mean the world to me and I really hope to see you there. Hope to see you on the scoreboard and I love you everyone. I'll see you in the aftermath, in the debrief, when we get to uh, let our hair down and uh, chat about all the things that went well, what didn't go well, and hopefully be able to give my take on it. So I'll see you on the scoreboard and after the game.